People ask me all the time, why should I start selling on Amazon? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you the 10 things that will explain to you why you should sell on Amazon, but most importantly, why you should start now before 2023. In 2015, when I came online, when I discovered the whole thing of online entrepreneurship, and I understood that there is this whole online business thing, I started researching a whole bunch of things. I mean, from affiliate marketing to drop shipping to crypto to wholesaling to all kinds of things. And I landed on Amazon. Amazon. And I get the question often, why did you pick Amazon out of all these things? So this is why I wanted to make this video and really break down to you what was my thought process and give you some insight so that you can make your decision. So what I want to go and do today is I'm going to go through the entire list, but start from the least important and then end up with the most important uh, to me personally. But if this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing and also be sure to turn on the bell. That way you get notified every time we drop a brand new video because we don't honestly have a schedule for when we drop new videos. So with that said, let's go down the list. I've written them down here. So the very first thing that I was looking at personally was the fact that over 53% of all online sales happen on Amazon. Now let's break that down a little bit because that's huge. You see, all the online websites, any single websites, anything that's got a www dot before and has a dot com at the end or dot net or dot org or whatever that sells products. I mean, there are what? Hundreds of thousands, millions of websites out there. 53% of all online sales happen on Amazon. When I knew that, I was like, all right, this is definitely the place that I need to be in. Why even go somewhere else? The second thing is that Amazon has an incredible logistics system. They do all of the shipping, all of the packing, and all of the storing of your products. So for you as a brand new seller, especially when you are starting, you know, trying to start a business, the thing that you're thinking about is, you know, do I need to rent a place to store my products? I remember when I had my restaurant, I needed to, it took us literally three months just to negotiate the lease to negotiate how much my rent is going to be over the course of the lease, you know, finding a place, uh, making sure that they, they ran my credit. At some point, they needed a personal guarantee because I didn't have enough credit for them to hold me as collateral because it was my very first business. They didn't think I was actually going to make it. They were right. I didn't really make it. So it becomes very difficult, but Amazon takes care of all that for you. They do all of the storing for you all of the shipping for you and all of the fulfillment of your orders. Now, the third thing, and honestly, if I was like, if I knew with my restaurant that someone can do this for me, I would simply be like ecstatic. And this is number seven. And that is Amazon does customer service for you. Imagine a world where you don't have to deal with pissed off customers. Uh, thank God. Thank God. And look, if you think that you're great, that you're going to sell a great product, that you are going to have amazing customer service, that's awesome. And so you should. However, problems are always going to happen. You know, uh, your suppliers might give you a product that can break people. Things are sh being shipped all over the place. You might have an employee or you might get clumsy or maybe you're packing something at the, in the middle of the night or whatever happens. Things are going to happen and, and, and pissed off customers are gonna be there. And trust me, you don't wanna deal with them because I've dealt with them at my restaurant and I did not wanna deal with them again. So Amazon does your customer service for you, which is just incredible. And the sixth spot is that Amazon has absolute trust and people know the platform. Amazon has been around for a long time. When was the last time when you thought of a product, you didn't go immediately to Amazon to see how much it is and see kind of, you know, different products and different variations. I mean, I can't even remember the last time I went to any other website because that's immediately, it's like when I want food, I go to Uber Eats. When I want to go somewhere, I go to Uber. When I want to buy a product, I go to Amazon. These are like the things that I use literally all the time, several times a week. Because again, there is a trust that's been built. There is a, a reputation that's been built. You don't have to start something from absolute beginning, you know? And, and as a beginning business, the most difficult thing for you to do is create that service, create that, you know, that infrastructure, create that website, create that reputation. No one knows who the hell you are. You trying to start a website on your own and trying to drive traffic to it. It's going to be near impossible to get a sale because no one knows who the hell you are, where Amazon people know that even if the product is bad, they can go to customer service, which Amazon takes care of and can get a refund, which is why people trust and like to shop on Amazon. In the fifth spot is that Amazon has nearly 200 million prime members 
spending on average $1,400 per year on Amazon. I mean, just do the math. I don't know if there is a, a calculator that can fathom that many zeros, but just multiply 200 million by $400. That's how much people spend a year on Amazon. And you might say, but why is that important? Well, because all these sales go to third-party sellers like yourself and myself and our students at BJK University and our coaches at BJK University. So if imagine if you can just take a, a small share of that pie, I mean, hey, in the fourth spot, and personally, that was one of the very first things that when I knew I was sold immediately, is that you could do this from anywhere in the world. It is not location dependent. You can sell from anywhere, and there are multiple uh, marketplaces that you can sell in. And what I mean by that is, if I live in the USA, I can sell on Amazon.com, which is for the US market, but I can also sell on Amazon.ca, which is for Canadians. I can sell on Amazon Germany. I can sell on Amazon UAE. I can sell on Amazon Netherlands. I can sell on all the marketplaces from being in my home in Miami. I don't need to travel. I don't need to do anything. I just contract my supplier to send units to those warehouses and Amazon fulfills the orders for me every time I get a product. As I mentioned, the, the top three are my personal favorites, but really number one is my personal favorite. But before we do that, I just want to say, if this is your first time on the channel and you haven't subscribed, please smash that subscribe button. And if you know someone that could really benefit from this content, do me a favor and take a link, share it with them, make sure that they're watching this video as well. Coming to you in the third spot is that Amazon FBA, fulfillment by Amazon as a business concept is a proven concept. When I first started in 2015, it was already a proven concept. People had already done it before me and, and, and you know, accomplished massive success. Seven years later, it is even more of an accomplished concept. You're not starting a brand new business. You're not Elon Musk trying to go to Mars where no one has done it. You are doing something that millions of other people have done and you're just simply trying to do it in a different way a little bit and take a share of the market. Look, this is a multi-trillion dollar market. And if you can take a small pie of that, it's like, hey, I could do pretty well for myself. In the second spot, and personally, you know, I am so grateful for this, is that there are proven blueprints that can show you exactly how to do it, like BJK University. When I first started my restaurant in 2013, you know, the, one of the biggest reasons why I failed simply because I wasn't following a proven blueprint. I thought I knew it all. I thought I could do it by myself. Now, people have launched and, and operated successful restaurants prior to that, but I just was too arrogant to go ask for help. And I had too much pride to ask for help thinking that, you know, if this person can do it and figure it out, I can do it as well. But you know what? If there is a proven system, I would rather follow someone else's footsteps rather than reinventing the wheel. When I first started in 2015, there was only so many proven blueprints. But today, with the the you know, with with BJK University being one of the top and largest education businesses, especially for Amazon FBA you are actually in a really great spot to succeed. All right, so we're actually here at number one. And personally for me, this was what sealed the deal for me. When I saw this, I'm like, hell yeah, I'm gonna go. And you gotta understand one thing. When I first started, I was $150,000 in debt. I had just lost the restaurant. I had, you know, uh, lost the respect of my father. I wanted to retire my parents. And it was really important for me that before I got into a new concept, that this concept had a, you know, didn't have a ceiling at growth, that the more I put in, the more I get out, and that it's a vehicle that it's always gonna grow the more I put into it. So this was very important for me. And when I knew this one stat, it changed the game for me. Now, before I get into there, after this video, I'm gonna share with you one other thing that's going to absolutely change the game for you. So be sure to stay tuned to that. All right, so we are at number one, which is my personal favorite. And this is that between 60 to 70% of all Amazon sellers make at least $100,000 per year. And for someone being $150,000 in debt, the fact that I could make that much money per year was just mind boggling for me. That was the thing that sealed the deal. As promised, I told you that I've got another insane gift for you. So if you click right over here, there's actually a video where we go inside and explain to you the truth about Amazon FBA and why people fail. If this is something that you really want to get into and it's like those 10 things really hit you hard and you want to get into it, you want to know this other thing before you start selling on Amazon. So be sure to click here and I'll see you in that video.